everyone, meet me again, Harry S. Mamoya, on my channel, Harryism World. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our grammar right now is infinitive. What is infinitive? Infinitive is verb, and it can be influenced by tenses or subjects. So, the complete lesson about the infinitive is in this video. So, don't go anywhere and check it out. This is the complete lesson about infinitive. As you know that infinitive is verb 1. And talking about infinitive, bentuk dasar kata kerja. And this is the complete lesson of infinitive. There are two kind of infinitive. The first, per infinitive or you can say verb 1. And then the second is to infinitive. So the infinitive is added by to. Well, now let's discuss about per infinitive. What is bare infinitive? This is the complete lesson. Well, bare infinitive usually used after models. For example, like this I can go with you. So, after models can directly verb 1 can go. And then the second, after verbs of perception. And then this one, the example I saw him cry. Means that saw is the perception verb and then cry is infinitive. Got it? Well, the third is after the causative active verb. The example, he makes Laura cry. As you know that makes here is active causative. And then cry here infinitive. So it should be there infinitive. And then the last here, after need not, dare not, would rather, have better. Always verb one or bear infinitive. Here the example. I had better go before them. Got it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, now let's come to the second kind of infinitive. To infinitive or to verb 1. Well, here, the first is as the subject means, this is in the first of the sentence. To listen means passion, means the subject is to infinitive or to listen. And the second is as the modifier. The first, modifier of noun. It is a nice place to swim. As we know that talking with the modifier is to explain the words before. Like this. It is a nice place. Means that the place here is a noun and then explained by the to infinitive. Place to swim. And the second, modifier of an adjective. Means that the adjective here is explained by the to infinitive. This is nice to meet you. Nice to meet. Means that to me is explained as nice. Got it? Well, and the next modifier of a verb. There is a verb and then expressed by the to infinitive. Sing to entertain. Or in the complete sentence, I will sing to entertain you. Well, and the last is modifier of a question words. Means that the modifier here explain the question words. For example, here, I don't know what to do. Got it? Well, now let's go to the next function of to infinitive. The third is after uh, the word to. So, uh, the example is bacteria is too small to see. And then after the word enough or before, you should be brave enough to live here. This is adjective. And then we have enough food to survive. This is now brave enough to live. Enough food to survive. It should use the infinitive. Okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the material about infinitive. So, the conclusion talking about infinitive is verb 1. But there are two kinds. So, we can use verb 1 as the bare infinitive or to verb 1 as the to infinitive. Talking about bare infinitive, there are four points here. And then for to infinitive, there are four functions too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the lesson. See you next time on my channel. Don't forget always to like, comment, share, and subscribe on my channel, Harrison World. See you next time and goodbye.